Yo, what is up guys, Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video and in today's Destiny Child video everyone, we're going to be heading into the Hephaestus Forge and igniting our Ophoes. Now, I do have all of the cores ready to fully ignite her and she is evolved to 6 star and level 60. Now I did rush her to level 60 with the hot time during this weekend. So as you can see on the screen right now, she is plus 5 level 60 S class. Now she will be plus 6 with the narrative dungeon copy. I just haven't cleared the narrative dungeon just yet. Now I'll be clearing the dungeon events with the daily currency. So it'll be a while until we do obtain the copy. Now I am currently on the 4th grid so hopefully we can get some good rolls and clear the main reward early on so we can obtain the 7th grid and pull her copy from the specific grid so we can uncap her and then just toss her into pvp and test her out here on the channel and we'll also be using her for the upcoming seth Ragnarok. break so it'll be very exciting to have since she is a new attacker so let's dive into the night world and check out the hephaestus forge so here we are we do have a ton of cores i'll show you guys my storage we do have a bunch here as you can see a ton of amp defense and amp attacks we do have one amp crit core but for the ignition side of ophoys we'll be using an amp attack core now i do have one here right here as you can see on the screen the amp attack amp defense and amp crit now i would definitely want an amp defense core on her instead with the substats being amp defense, amp attack, and amp attack. But unfortunately, I couldn't roll the specific core that I do want for her. But here we do have a decent one with one amp defense substats and one amp attack, since of course it's the main stat of the core since it's amp attack. So you'll roll the amp attack regardless. But we also do have an amp crit. Now, crit isn't too useful but we'll just take it here for now and if we do manage to pull a better core of course being the defense core that i do desire then i'll toss it on to my ophoes but for now we'll use this and it should just do fine on her as we still do have two attackers on my pvp roster which we'll go over later so let's dive into the ignition process of her let's check out my child inventory here and there she is we do have the ignition process available for her now since we do have her at 6 star level 60. So let's find the core we did want to toss onto her. It was the amp attack with amp defense and amp crit. So let me see if I can find it here. We actually do have this one as well, but I don't want two amp crits on her. So we'll be skipping out on that one. So here it is on the screen with the amp attack, amp defense, and amp critical. So let's do toss it onto her. Now there it is. Ignition cores cannot be recovered. So you will have to sacrifice this one and you cannot pull it out from the ignition process. So there she is with the first red star and she did obtain amplified attack plus 150. Now next up here, we will toss in an additional fodder core. We do have quite a few here for the fodder side. So as you can see, we do have a ton of dark type units. We'll be using the red cross here for the ignition process. Now first up here for the skill up of this specific ignition node, we do have gold wolf's ring strike tier one level one out of 10 as I haven't fully skilled her out just yet. But we can see the differences here deal 2155 damage to two enemies priority lowest hp inflict anti-barrier removes a barrier and deals damage equal to 72.4 percent of remaining barrier hp and after igniting we do have deal 2185 damage to three enemies priority lowest hp inflict anti-barrier removes a barrier and deals damage equal to 72.4 percent of remaining barrier hp so you can see a huge difference here we do have the targets three enemies instead of two on pre-ignition and we do have more damage overall now of course my stats don't seem amazing right now since she is only at tier 1 skill set. So upon ranking her up to tier 7 we will see a huge increase in her damage and percentage stats. So here is the first node we do have more amplified attack being brought onto her stat sheet we do have plus 50 there. 
Next up here, we do have the normal node here, so you will obtain some other substats here. We do have the amplified defense coming in with this one, and we just toss on a core there with some onyx. As you can see, level 3 amplified defense plus 100. Next up here, we do have amplified crits coming in now, so let's do toss in this core, and we do have the level 4 for her ignition process with amplified crits plus 100. Now as for the skill up here on level 5, we do have Amplified Attack plus 50 and the Ignition skill of Opener of Death's Threshold, of course being her slide skill. Now pre-ignition, we do have deal 2834 damage 2 times to 2 enemies, priority light type, inflict guard buff blast, remove the last applied guard buff, then deal damage based on its effect by a factor of 320, in PvP, 668 bonus damage. Now after ignition, we do have deal 2934 damage 2 times to 2 enemies, Priority Light Type, Inflict Guard Buff Blast, Remove the Last Applied Guard Buff, then deal damage based on its effect by a factor of 320 in PvP and 668 bonus damage. So the difference is here, from pre-ignition to after ignition, we do have more damage of course, and we also do have here the bonus damage is not locked behind PvP, so this bonus damage will be applied in every mode. For the slide skill so as you can see in pvp and then after igniting we do have and so a very nice buff here for the skill and we do receive the additional amplified attack as well for the plus 50 so let's do toss in a red cross here and there it is level 5 for her and an additional 50 amplified attack next up here we do have more amplified defense of course being on the left hand side so there are the cores for this one and we do have level 6 plus 100 amplified defense. Next up here, we do have amplified crits. So let's toss in this core right here. And we will receive a plus 100 amplified crits. For the next skill upgrade, we do have the Necropolis of Souls Repose here being her drive skill. And we do have an additional amplified attack of plus 50. Now let's check out the differences here. We do have the pre-ignition being deal 8303 damage to 4 enemies, priority with the guard buff, inflict guard buff blast, remove the last applied guard buff, then deal damage based on its effect by a factor of 600. After igniting, we do have deals 8963 damage to all enemies, inflict guard buff blast, remove the last applied guard buff, then deal damage based on its effect by a factor of 600. So as you can see, the difference is here. She actually does damage all enemies after igniting this drive skill. So let's toss in a core here, let's use this one, and we will toss on a red cross as well. So 53,000 onyx for this one. Next up here, we do have the amplified defense plus 100. So let's toss on a core here, we'll be using this one right here for the amplified defense and there it is ignition level 9. All right everyone next up here we do have the level 10 ignition for her being the amplified crits plus 100 so we'll toss on a fodder core as well and then we'll have the level 10 version of Ophoice being ignited so there she is level 10 amplified crits plus 100 now as for the next skill upgrade we do have the skill up for the gold wolf's ring strike of course being her tap skill pre-ignition we do have deal 2185 damage to three enemies Priority lowest HP, inflict anti-barrier, removes barrier, and deals damage equal to 72.4% of remaining barrier HP. After ignition, we do have deal 2215 damage to 3 enemies, priority lowest HP, inflict anti-barrier, removes barrier, and deals damage equal to 72.4% of remaining barrier and Immortal Duration minus 31.6%. So there is the huge tap skill buff for Ophoice in the Ignition side of the game as of course she does have the Immortal Duration cut by 31.6% 
on this tap skill increase. So very nice to have this on the tap skill when dealing with Thispies. So this will be very useful against Thispy if you do have to face up against her in the Devil Rumble. Now there she is, level 11, amplified attack 350, so we do have one more node here, of course, being the upgrade and final skill upgrade for her slide skill. So we do have pre-ignition, deal 2934 damage two times to two enemies, priority light type, inflict guard buff blast, remove the last applied guard buff, then deal damage based on its effect by a factor of 320 and 668 bonus damage. Now after ignition, we do have deal 3034 damage two times to three enemies, priority light type, inflict guard buff blast, remove the last applied guard buff, then deal damage based on its effect by a factor of 320 and 668 bonus damage. Now of course the difference is here, she does deal more damage and now she does target three enemies on the slide skill. So very nice here, of course, giving her the six hits slide. Now next up, we'll toss on the core and then dump out a red cross yet again. So there she is, fully ignited, 76,000 onyx to fully ignite the Ophoace. Now level 12 with amplified attack, I believe 400. So as you can see special reward attack animation during battle has been changed since you unlocked every quillip. So let's do check her out in the child inventory. There she is already on the screen for you all. We do have amplified attack 400, amplified defense 300, and amplified crits 300. Now ideally I would want two amplified attacks but we do have to settle with the amplified crits for now. As you can see her power is at 53,339. Her spa level is very low since she just did release. So I will have to just keep tossing her into the spa and level up that over time. Now I'll toss on equips for her later, but there she is fully ignited. So very happy to have her ignited. Now, as you can see, I am very low on Onyx. So we will have to save up Onyx and level this up over time. Probably we'll just snag some of the discount packs when they do return. So I can skill her up in preparation for the next event. But overall, there she is fully ignited level 12 out of 12. Ophoes and she will be plus six soon. All right, everyone, one more thing before we do end off this video. I do want to claim the mission pass rewards here for Ophoes. Now we do have a ton of rewards since we did ignite her fully and since we did uncap her to plus five. Now we'll be able to obtain an additional core here and a five star summoning ticket once I do uncap her to plus six, which will claim that summoning ticket later on once we do obtain her final uncap from the narrative dungeon. Now as for all of the rewards here, we do have a ton of spa skins, so this will help in leveling up her spa, and of course we do have one here for her spa live 2D animation. Now we do have a ton of galaxy napping places, some ignition core material, and we do have some 10 times summoning tickets, so we'll be claiming those right now. And let's see if we can manage to summon a 5 star unit here in today's video before we do end it off here. Now we do have 5 of them, so let's see if we can manage to snag a unit out of the 5 here. We did not manage to summon a 5 star character. But we do have a ton of onyx materials, so we'll extract all of these and just use the onyx to skill up Ophoes. Alright everyone, so that will do it for today's Destiny Child video and of course our igniting process for Ophoes. So make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you do think of her skill set after ignition. Overall, she does seem to be very strong for the PvP side of the game. And of course, she does have a ton of use for raids and world boss trials as well. But anyways, everyone, if you did enjoy today's Destiny Child video, make sure to leave a like on this one. And of course, if you haven't yet done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying the Destiny Child content. And of course, would like to stay tuned for more more of it. Now with all of that being said, I'll see you all in the next Destiny Child video. As always, thank you all so much for watching.